content. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pagan and I work for Retro Replay. Um, I have had some of my friends request that I do a reaction video to some of the comments that were left on our Retro Replay video, Trailer Talks, where we discuss the Snyder Cut of the Justice League. Um, this is my own content, this is not affiliated with Retro Replay in any way, and all opinions that I have in this video are my own. Just to clarify that, get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, I thought that might be a fun video. I have seen briefly some of these comments before that people have screenshotted to me, so um, that's pretty fun. So uh, yeah, here's the, the reaction. I hope you like it. Alrighty, let's, let's get into it. The only cool person in this group is Pagan. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, every, everyone else seems set in their ways going into this and they are not being open-minded to Zack Snyder's vision. All based off a sour taste of the Joss Whedon Justice League. I mean... Yeah, you can kind of understand if people aren't super excited about this version if they didn't like the Joss Whedon cut because it's still Justice League. And if they didn't like Justice League the first time, they're probably not going to like it the second. So, I can understand what you're saying though. If they're not going into this being ready for a new movie following the continuation of The Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman, they're not going to appreciate it fully. Why watch something you're going to compare and be critical of? I mean, yeah, I see what you mean. Like, why, why bother watch something? I feel like... At the same time, if they did enjoy it, or if they're curious to see Zack Snyder's cut, if they're a fan of Zack Snyder, then you probably should watch it. And I feel like everybody seems to compare and be critical of something in any movie that they watch. But um, <laughs> but 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 thank you for this. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I can see why people wouldn't be super excited about the Joss Whedon, um, but the Snyder cut of Justice League, if they had a bitter taste in their mouth from the Joss Whedon cut. <laughs> you guys are cool and I'm a fan of the pink girl, she rocks. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> I only agree with Pagan. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair, thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for that. Pagan has the best opinion. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Um, I, I don't necessarily know if mine's the best opinion, but thank you so much for, for agreeing with me. I, that we're very excited to see this movie. Thank you. Well, bye, Paul. <laughs> well, bye, Paul. Only cool persons here is Nolan, Drew, and Pagan. The rest are squares. <laughs> the rest are squares. <laughs> Who says this anymore? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Thank you for this, because, you know, you're right, you're right. Um, but, <laughs> bye, Paul. He just doesn't like superhero movies. <laughs> take care, buddy. <laughs> Why are you guys freaking out about this being four hours when you guys probably binge watch 20 episodes of a show that's more than four hours of a movie? They're not wrong. They are not wrong. I have definitely binge watched entire series for like eight hours. <laughs> Pagan capitals was the only one who had good opinions here. Uh, here, I suggest all of you watch BVS Ultimate Edition and Man of Steel because it does tie into the story and you won't probably appreciate it if you don't see those other movies first. Nonetheless, if you hate it or you like it, uh, if you hate it or don't like it, it's aesthetics, but it does give you um, a lot of insight into these characters. Okay, I mean, yes, I would agree. I actually just watched Mount of Steel last night, so I am good. I actually really enjoyed those films. That's a confession. Um, yeah, I I liked Batman vs Superman. I like Mount of Steel. I know they get a lot of snacks, uh, slack on the internet. I know, I know these things. I'm probably gonna get comments about it, but I enjoyed those films for what they were. I enjoyed I enjoyed those films. Are they gonna win awards? Probably not. But I thought they were fun, and I liked them. DC has a lot of potential. DC is dark, but if you've seen Metropolis in the comics, it's gorgeous, they can do a lot. It's gorgeous, they can do a lot. You need to remember Joss Reese, Reese oh my gosh, Joss reshot 70% of the movie and it was two hours. We have a four hour movie now, it will be a different movie. Yes. And that's, like, I mean, honestly, that's why I'm more excited to see this, because everything from Zack's original vision was completely cut from the Justice League. And now we're getting all of that back. And it is what it is, is supposed to have been in the first place. So, uh, yes, I think DC is dark and it does have a lot of potential. I think 
people who compare DC and Marvel um, probably shouldn't because they are two different universes and uh, Marvel does a great thing where they balance a lot of comedy and drama and everything whereas DC I don't think needs to do that because DC is naturally darker so they should just lean into that <laughs> this comment this comment lean into that lean into that darkness and now we know why her parents named her pagan oh wow <laughs> yeah this cracks me up this one's a good one um this is great thank you for this um uh, I actually think I've, I've seen this a couple of days ago when it, when it was first out, so I think I had replied already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I love this. Thank you so much for that. Again, what the previous comment had said, DC is naturally darker, so I do think they should lean into that darkness because I think it does stand to them uh, more than it would to try and add in comedy beats. Um, and just, you know, fun fact, my parents named me after a character in a book. So... Just clearing that right up. These are a bunch of hot takes. <laughs> Snyder is a five arc story. That's all it is. You don't need three crappy movies about one character to make you care. Edit Pagan understands. <laughs> I'm curious to be like, why was this edited? Did you, like, was the, was the, uh, did you make the comment before you watched the end of the video? Like, I don't, I don't know. But that is, uh, thank you. I get you. I got you. I got, I got you. Uh, these people don't know what they want, shaking my head. I can't speak for everybody else, but I sure do. <laughs> and I want to see the Snyder Cut. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing. I think trailer talk, I think trailer talk is a good idea. Nice to see other Retro Replay members. But, but, if you decide to jump on the hype train like Dune or Justice League, etc., just remember to, I think, praise the hype train. Do not come in with, I don't like superhero movies and be meh. Internet never forgives and forgets and comic slash game fandom has toxicity. Do you guys want to, to start Cinema Channel? I don't think so because you lack or show research investment understandment. Understandment? DC heroes are gods, Marvel heroes are regular people with power, etc. You want to make trailer talk longer or shorter maybe think about it i mean you will lose fans or subs and that is not the game here p.s pagan saves your ass here <laughs> um okay <laughs> uh well thank you i guess um firstly i didn't intend to save anybody's butt uh for this show and i think that you know if we're gonna jump on the hype train like I think in terms of YouTube content, if you're going to make a YouTube video about anything that is currently popular in media or being talked about in media, then you should just make that content. Whether you like it or you don't like it doesn't really matter if you're going to make the content about it. I see what you're saying. You're saying that you're risking subs or follows because you're not hyping the hype train. But I think that you should also be able to have an opinion. And if you don't like superhero movies or if you don't like the Justice League, then you should be able to say so. Um, I get what you're saying. I think people um, have like opinions and they're, they're very strong opinions about um, Zack Snyder's Justice League, either for or against. But I just kind of disagree with this whole um, don't come in and say that you don't like superhero movies or be like, meh. Because the internet never forgives and forgets. The internet is the internet. Uh, people will say what they say and I think that having an opinion is valuable in today's society and I think that you should have an opinion so that if you don't like something you should be able to express that you don't like it. Um, I understand people will come for you or uh, at you in the comments or at you on Twitter but at the same time if you're um, and what I'm talking about in context is movies in terms of trailer talk. I feel like if you don't like a superhero movie and if you're not interested in the Justice League then you should be able to freely express that. Um, and likewise, I am interested in the Justice League and I am interested in superhero movies and I've expressed myself that I like superhero movies and that I can't wait to see this. So yeah, um, I see what you're saying. I think you have a good point, but at the same time, I think that making content on the internet is always going to be, um, love it or hate it. And if we had all come on here and been proactively for Snyder's Justice League cut maybe we would have gotten a lot of comments being like, where's your real opinion? So, 
yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm happy with the way that our, um, our video turned out. Whether they all liked it or they all hated it, we all expressed an opinion. Um, we're entitled to have those. So uh, thank you so much for the comment and thank you for telling me that I've saved their asses. Uh, even though that wasn't my intention, I am super glad that I got to share my enthusiasm for this project. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can feel free to hit the like button or leave a comment below. Um, I am very excited for this film and um, I will need to find a way to watch it on HBO Max because I'm in Ireland and I have no idea how to get that. So if anybody knows, feel free to leave that in the comments below as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. If you do want more of this kind of content, you can feel free to also put that in the comments below if you want me to react to something. I'm happy to do that for you guys. And if you're not following already, make sure that you go and follow Retro Replay and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can join their memberships, which is available in their YouTube channel under the membership tab. Click on that and that should give you a full rundown of all the membership tiers available and what they entail. Thank you guys so much again. See you next time.